Hello YouTube, the Arrow Assassin here today, and welcome to another video. Today I am going to be something, doing something different for you guys here. Today I want to go over the PvP brawls. It is the final day before PvP brawls basically go live. And I'm super excited for it, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are excited for it too. But for those of you that did not test it on the PTR like I did, I just wanted to give you guys kind of an example of... Like how you play, how the battlegrounds work, etc. There's one of them, of course, I have not played, but I watched a video for myself on how the battleground works, and I think I get a general idea of how it works. But uh, I, and I'm gonna try to explain it the best I can in this video. But um, yeah, guys. So let's go ahead and get this started here. We got first up is Warsong Scramble, and of all battlegrounds I have tested so far, Warsong Scramble. 10 out of 10, best battleground by far I've ever had ever, like, I would probably do this all day if I could, it's just that much fun, and I think you guys will enjoy this student too. And how this battleground works, it took me a while to actually figure this out, because I did not know about it, and if you guys want to see the videos of me doing it, uh, you guys can check it out for yourself. At the top, there's five, um, capture points instead of three, and you have to capture five flags. And basically, this battleground is you just go get the flag, and you run it all the way to the base and cap it. And you can cap it while the other team has the flag, uh, while the other team has the flag. So that's how this works. It's pretty interesting. It's a really interesting concept. So if you don't want them to cap it, you're going to have to kill a flag carry. I mean, if he gets all the way to the end, he can cap it. That's as simple as that. It, it's, if they cap five, they win. And I feel like it was a really interesting concept, so. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I just love this battleground, it's so interesting. But now comes my favorite part I want to talk about with you guys. Alright. I'm, I'm trying to think of like, some excellent ways to explain it. Alright. Let's start with the Arcane Prison. Actually, no, let's go over this uh, at the start. Um. There are power-ups. There's a twist. It's kind of like power-ups. Um, think of it kind of like similar to Ashran type thing where they had those extra power-ups that helped you boost it. In um, the battleground for Ashran. If you did Ashran. If not, then... Um, can't really think of any other way to explain it. Just power-ups, I guess. Um, so, yeah. Um... Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think some best ways to explain this to you guys. Uh, yeah, power-ups, that's it. I'm sticking with that. Um, there's two awesome power-ups. There's tons of power-ups. Um, one of them, uh, I'll, I'll explain the two I like um, last. But the um, first one that I know of, this one is okay. Um, it dismounts the target, so you can dismount the target and knock them off their mount. And it reduces their effectiveness by like 10%, I think, 10 or 15%, uh, something like that. I think there's another one, but I can't remember what they're, what it was called. But let's go over the two I, I like the most. One is a death grip type thing. It brings you to the target, I believe. I'm not, it doesn't bring them to you. Maybe it does, I can't remember. Um... Uh, I can't remember. I'd have to check out my video and remember. But anyways, yeah, one of the two it brings you to them or brings them to you. And then the next one is Arcane Prison. My second favorite is basically like Ashran. Ashran, um, Arcane Prison. If you guys remember that, it traps everybody inside this purple spear, and you can just go ham on them, AOE, etc. And yeah. So they added it into the Warsong Scramble. And when I did this, it was so insane, guys. I mean, it's a game changer. You AoE practically everybody. They just drop like flies. It's ridiculous. So, guys, I think this pretty much covers it for um, Warsong Scramble. Um, I'm aware this is kind of a lot. I mean, this battleground is just my favorite, guys. I would highly recommend giving it a shot. Alright guys, up next we have is Torn Mill vs. South Shore. I'm sure a lot of people are going to remember this from Warlords, and probably don't need an explanation, but I'm going to explain it anyways, 
because there might be new people and they should probably know about this battleground. All right. So how this battleground works is basically think of it as a team deathmatch. It's basically that's what it all really is. You kill all the players uh, up to the score or before the time limit ends and you win or lose. Depends on what it is. Basically, I feel like this battleground is all about casters. If you're melee, you're going to have a hard time. It's, it's just pretty obvious. If you're melee, you're going to have a hard time. It's mostly a caster type battleground. Just of course my opinion. And, um, yeah, um, if they push you to your base, the guards hit extremely hard, and vice versa, wherever you're at. If you want to see the humiliation of me losing, um, when we had a huge lead because of that reason, you can check it out, my Guardian Dread video, because that's exactly what happened. We pushed them in their base, um, people, we got overwhelmed, and we lost. Humiliation. Very, very humiliation defeat, man. It's depressing what just happened. Um, it was rather sad. I can't believe, honestly, what I just witnessed. I actually never lost, I mean, never won any of these Torn Mill or South Shore games. I feel like they're always kind of one-sided, to be honest. Um, of all the brawls, this is kind of my least favorite. Just putting it out there. Um... Some people will like it, some people will hate it, like I kind of don't like it as much. I don't hate it necessarily, but, um, just that's about it, guys. Um, unfortunately, there's no footage I have of the Eye of the Storm game because it's one of the, um, games, like I said earlier, that I did not get a chance to do. I tried to do it, but, um, it wouldn't let me in the battleground. So I studied it on a video, and I'm going to try my best to explain it to you guys. From what I gather of the video, basically all it is is you get launched in the air after a certain amount of time. So you're at, like, drawn out ruins, and you get la you're get you fighting somebody, you get launched in the air, and if you want to go to somewhere else, just, like, on the other side of the map, go all the way over there, like, Fell River Ruins. Or, if you're at Fell River Ruins... Basically, just go to Mage Tower if you want to. Or if you want to go to Blood Oath, instantly you can do that too. I mean, that's it sounds really entertaining and fun, guys. I can't wait to experience and show you guys for yourselves. Um, and I think that's it for the PvP rolls, guys. Um, I hope this in some ways gives you an idea how they work. And I hope you're as excited for it as I am. And... I'll see you guys later.